Good evening, everybody. And we are here in Deborah and Nick's upper elementary classroom gardens. And just going to give you a little tour. The Stokesia is in bloom. This is um, also known as Stokes Aster. It was named after a guy named Stokes. So if you discover a plant, you can name it what after you, you can name it whatever you want. A lot of people name it after someone they know or love or respect. Um, I don't know who Stokes was. I think he was a botanist. We'll have to look it up. Um, but I planted this plant two and a half years ago. So now it's finally very happy. It took it a while to establish. So with gardening, patience is the key. Um, I usually get credit for the things I do about two to three years after I do them. That's an important lesson in life. You guys should know what this plant is by now. This is milkweed. This is the tropical non-native milkweed and you can tell because it has kind of a brownish purplish hue to its branches. And let's give an example of one that is native. This is tuberosa, a native type of milkweed. So it's a Cephalese tuberosa. And it has yellow flowers instead of red flowers. But see how it's super green? It's greener. It doesn't have like a purpley hue. So we'll go and look for another example. To tell the difference again, here's the tropical. It's darker, it's green, but it's dark green, and it has the red flowers. So, um, we've got several species. I'm trying to grow more native species. Um, this here is a native species. This is a native persimmon. So we have some persimmons out by the side of middle school and they're delicious. Those are Asian persimmons. We have a native persimmon too, and that's what this tree is. Now this tree is not self-pollinating. It needs to be pollinated by another individual. So that's why we have that persimmon tree planted over there. So they don't need to be right next to each other. The birds and the bumblebees and bats and all kinds of insects will bring that pollen over to this persimmon tree and in here in our teepee we built this teepee with the middle school community art class um, and in here I have two different types of gourds growing I planted these right after you guys left um, this is a loofa gourd, and over here we have um, a big bottle gourd. And we've also planted a dogwood tree, baby dogwood tree right here. It's having a hard time. It just got transplanted. Dogwoods also provide native fruit for birds that we don't eat, but it's one of their favorites. Hey everybody, I'm back here at the Low Country Montessori School campus and I just realized that it's been about a month since I took a video of um, Mr. Nick and Miss Deborah's yard and I still haven't posted that video but I thought about a month has gone by so it would be cool to watch the two videos next to each other to see how things have changed and grown in one month's time. So this is the lettuce. Um, it's too bitter for eating but see we're getting seeds so the pollinators enjoyed the um, flowers when the lettuce was flowering and now we're going to have lettuce seeds. Um, and we've got mustard as well 
native tuberosa um, has totally grown. Um, all the zinnias are much bigger than they were. Um, they're just beautiful. And guess what's happening here? Look at this. Ooh, those are some red peppers. They're perfect. They're beautiful. Um, so the artichoke did not survive. I have yet to succeed. Um, but Miss Katie and I made a little path. So all the gardens are going to have paths. Um, and that way um, we know where we can walk and where we can't. We're going to be able to reach everything. Uh, the most exciting things I wanted to show you was the gourds. The gourds were like just babies a month ago. And now they're getting huge. The teepee's finally fulfilled its purpose. Um, look at that, the big bottle gourd. It wishes it could even go higher. And then this is the leaf gourd, which is younger. Um, it's not quite as big, but it's thriving too. So we're really excited. There's gonna be gourds when you come back. The wild passion vine is growing wild in the forest. There's passion fruit. There's a bunch of passion fruit everywhere. It'll be right when you come back. Beauty Berry is having baby berries. Like, I mean, they will be purple soon, but right now they're just fresh and young. Blueberries are finished. I didn't get any. I think the birds got them. Um, it's okay with me. Just wanted to show you guys how things have changed in some way. It's so different in some way. Everything remains the same. Sure do. Hi everybody. We are back here in the backyard of Miss Deborah's class, and it's only been about a month. It's August 25th today. And I wanted to show you how the gourds have fared. So that's the teepee right there. It has been broken. The big bottle gourd has grown all the way up the teepee. The weight of the gourds has knocked it over and then it's grown all the way up that um, muscadine vine up into the forest. So. I guess this is the end of the teepee. You can see the gourds were so heavy that they just broke it. <clears throat> but it had a good life. And now the gourds are just proliferating. You can see there is one here. And there's more under here. We've got, they've fallen on the ground now that the teepee has fallen and they are heavy. You can feel how heavy they are. So they're gonna be empty eventually, but that won't be for a few more months when they dry. So you can see how big the gourds are. We've got one, two, three, four, and that is all from that little plant that we saw earlier. The dogwood tree has come back and over here we have the loofa gourd. So see how the leaf is different? The, this is the loofa gourd and this is the big bottle gourd. It has that heart-shaped leaf. So the big bottle gourd has definitely outgrown the loofa gourd. It's coming for the bird feeder. And over here 
the beautyberry bush is putting out its beautiful berries. Um, so last time we looked, they were just starting and now they have reached their full potential. So the cardinals and the other berry loving birds are going to be happy. So that's the latest update from the campus at Low Country Montessori Gardens. And I'll let you know how everything is going. I hope you'll be back here soon. Bye-bye.